Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode here at All I See Is W. Well today I wanted to make this video to share with you my experience and what I've learned after going through six months of experiencing NoFab and I will continue to follow through with this whole lifestyle change because for me it's not about reaching the specific goal but it's ultimately just having a change to my lifestyle and I'll go ahead and I'll share with you what I've experienced so far and how you can improve on your game with NoFap if you're considering making this move. Now I know that it's quite difficult right to be able to achieve NoFap whether let's say you've been addicted to just watching porn on the screen whether it's been engraved in you because I've gone through that situation myself. I mean, just, just growing up as a little kid up through as an adult, I mean, we all here are just so attuned to just looking at the digital screen and getting pleasure off from that. But the ultimate thing with experiencing NoFab is to understand that it's ultimately a lifestyle change because once you start giving up that whole aspect you will notice that there will be so many positive benefits that will come for example one thing that I've noticed with myself after going through six months of not going through just staring at the screen is the fact that my productivity with work my, my physical uh, fitness as well as me just getting uh, shit done around the house I just feel like I'm way more productive and that's why I feel so happy and my libido with my energy has just skyrocketed as opposed to me just staring at the screen each morning and just letting that whole libido go and once that energy is released I just feel like I'm depleted and I can't really get anything done because I'm just in a relaxed state. Not to say that it's bad for you, however I just want to make a change in my life and just going through NoFab, I feel like I'm going through this whole transformation of myself where I have just so much energy and this is like positive energy where I know I can leverage this energy to apply it to my work, my fitness, and also my mental health where I'm able to focus on the things that truly matter. Now, one thing that I've noticed is the fact that I'm becoming much more consistent in the things that I'm doing. So for example, I like to do early morning runs. And when I first began about years ago, back in like 2016, it was so difficult for me to like wake up early in the morning, around five in the morning, to meet up with coworkers to start running at 6.15 in the morning for about five to seven miles. It was difficult because just I just feel like, you know, you have like just all those limiting beliefs, the saboteurs telling you that, hey, why are you waking up while you're sleeping in a warm bed? But through time, after just experiencing just with no fab, I have that whole entire energy where now I don't even think about the limiting beliefs anymore. And I just feel like I just get up and I just do things now. Not only does it help with your productivity, but it also allows for you to have a lifestyle change where you'll focus more on consistently getting things done. So now, one one thing I'm noticing is that I'm able to get up quickly. I don't think so much and I just go out for a run, get my five miles in, and I don't think so much about you know looking for a great scene on the digital world and then do what I used to do. I mean, I've been doing that for many years now and it's great for me to break away from that norm because I just feel like it's a whole entire lifestyle change and I believe that in the long run, as I continue my NoFap experience with this whole lifestyle change, my goal is to improve on my fitness as well, right? Because now that I'm not releasing my libido every day on a daily basis, staring at the screen, I'm now able to deplete my own natural energy, whether it's through running, playing basketball, doing heavy lifting, or just anything along the lines, or just spending time with the girlfriend, right? I mean, one thing I'm noticing is that I'm not so focused on the sexual desires anymore, and I'm more focused on just my goals and aspirations to get things done. And I'm noticing that I'm improving with just my work productivity, my health fitness, and 
it's about me just wanting to achieve more through small incremental improvements with anything that I'm doing. So if you are considering to get on this NoFap journey, you know, it's not about you doing it for a year or two years, but really you have to subconsciously realize that going through NoFap is all about just having a lifestyle change and you will notice that your energy level will be completely different and how will you use that energy that is now provided to you that's the beauty behind it right because I don't want to shape you know your own strategy it's everyone is different and how I'm using that energy is by applying it to my own goals and that's why I feel like just by not going through the daily norms of looking at the screen I'm more focused on other things and I think that's what will help me get to where I want to be in life and ultimately let's say if you're you're having difficulty with relationships and all that perhaps going through NoFap may help you because now you're not so focused on just self-doubting yourself on whether you can get the girl that you really like or are you able to talk to a person and see whether they have an interest well for me now that I've gone through NoFap for about six months now, I mean, I, I tend to just take challenges, right? And I'm, I'm fearless with anything that I do now. And, you know, I'm thinking in terms of how can I better improve myself on a daily basis. And what's interesting is I, I hardly even think about just the whole sexual desires now because of my experience not going through pleasure every day. You kind of break away from that norm. And I think that's really helped shape how... I am developing and growing with uh, my own personal mastery and focusing on my own branding. Like with me now, my goal is, you know, just providing YouTube content and just staying consistent there as well as running on Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays while at times I can, you know, stop on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But the key thing is staying on a schedule with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I feel like with going through the nofap experience it has definitely helped me with staying on top of that routine schedule so you'll notice those things with improvement in productivity improvement with being consistent with whatever you're trying to achieve and most importantly it makes you feel like a man just knowing that you're not so reliant on the digital screen and i feel like with my current state it has really helped shaped my way of thinking to focus on my goals and my own personal values and for those reasons I'm so happy that I've gone through the NoFap experience and I foresee that I can definitely go beyond the six months and possibly go into multiple years so who knows what I may never consider doing it again and I mean just the thought of self pleasuring myself that's just out of the equation now and that's something that I appreciate and I will continue to have that lifestyle be embedded in me and how I will get that pleasure will just be through other ways whether it be running, staying active, lifting weights, working hard with my work schedule and just spending great time with uh, my girlfriend and most importantly when you do consider going through NoFap, try to understand why you're trying to go through this. I mean, it's quite difficult for most people to break away from that norm, right? For me, I mean, I've been looking at the digital screen since I was a little kid growing up to now. I mean, it's it's been embedded in my lifestyle. However, going cold turkey and breaking through that norm can be difficult for you. So try to understand what you're trying to achieve and why are you doing what you're trying to do but the ultimate goal is just knowing that going through the nofab can significantly benefit you with just with focusing on what matters most to you and you save so much time right because i remember like when i wasn't on nofab i mean each morning i would have that high energy level where i would just start looking on digital screen and just start self pleasuring myself and once I'm done with that the day just seems like it's already over I'm tired I want to go back to sleep but now the fact that I don't leverage that and I don't deplete my energy early in the morning I'm able to use that energy to apply it to work through 
my physical activities and also just with anything in life whether it's just going outside to play uh, basketball or anything but overall I mean I just feel so much more focused and it has definitely helped me to shape where I want to be and now I'm able to stay more productive my mind is clear and I'm able to make decisions very quickly whether it's a good decision or a bad decision who cares as long as you're making decisions and you see the outcome from that that's how you really learn and just with my experience with nofab i just wanted to say i hope that you know this does provide you some new insight where you can consider breaking through and following through with nofab because from my experience i've learned that it has helped me become less focused on the sexual desires and more along the lines of focused on my values and my beliefs and for those reasons I will continue that and I'm just sharing with you my positive experience with it and I hope that this video was valuable and that it has given you new insights possibly for you to break away from this norm right and if you have any questions related to how I was able to break away from this for six months please leave your comments and questions down below and I can definitely guide you through just breaking through with this norm as well and I'd love to hear your stories and where you are with NoFap. Let's say if you want to start tomorrow, hey, just do it. Let's say if you are one month in, I'd love to hear your experience with your changes with your physiological improvements as well as your psychological improvements. And let's say if you've gone through no fat for many years, I'd love to hear that story as well. But ultimately everyone is different so it's important that we share our experience and see what are the positive benefits, what are the negative benefits and we can share that information and apply it to our own desires. So overall I hope that this video was valuable in that it has given you new insight on how I was able to improve my lifestyle by breaking away from staring at the digital screen for six months and i'm sure you can as well so thanks again for watching another episode here at all i see is w thank you all